I'll tell you something about uh, Taylor Hicks, too. <coughs> Here's the weird thing about Taylor Hicks. Run over there, Fess. <coughs> Taylor Hicks is a guy who you came into this whole game. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. There's a little bit of smoke in here, isn't there? Yeah. Almost like there's a little bit of replay smoke in the world. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> Maybe there's not. Maybe there's no smoke at all. Obviously, they're not. But anyway, I'm going to go back to this, uh, uh, Dave. Uh, we're not going to see him for a 15-year career. He's not going to be there for 15 years. I think he has shelf life, Mr. B. I really do. Based I'm, on what? Just think he is like a guy who's sticking get it? around. Yes. But I'd already, I had already was already coughed myself <laughs> out. Did they not know we were doing this bit? Yeah, they knew. Yeah. But there was still a technical problem with it. All right, let's just pretend we didn't do all that, and we'll just play it. Listen up, America! This is the Nature Boy! Woo! Woo! And America has voted! America has spoken! America has chosen its idol! And America... You make me want to throw up the champagne breakfast I shared today with a freshly banged Dion Warwick. You have chosen Taylor Hicks to idolize? You gotta be kidding me. You picked a marshmallow wearing an Andy Warhol wig. You picked a 29-year-old grandfather. A guy whose sense of style is a Mo Howard haircut and a double chin. This is your idol. I haven't been this disappointed in this stinking country since it turned its back on the El Camino. Perhaps the greatest car-truck hybrid ever. Whoa! Woo! Woo! Taylor Hicks, you don't know what an idol is. An idol is when you are the nature boy. Whoa! Woo! And you've got the Lander sisters putting each other in a Steiner recliner as they fight over you. Woo! Woo! What checks are you going to get, Taylor? Elliot's mom? Oh. And an idol is when you are welcomed in any club or five-star restaurant on either coast. The best you can hope for, Hicks? is an enthusiastic hello from the blue vest at an Alabama Walmart. Face it, fat boy. You're not idle material. It's less than 24 hours since your victory, and you're already a has-been. Woo! Woo! You got no future. You don't believe me? Ask another punk named Ruben Stuttered, who thought he was an idol. And now is one waffle away from going into a Buster Douglas sugar coma. You know what Ruben's next TV appearance is? It's when we see the front wall of his living room being taken down so Dick Gregory can get him out of his house. <laughs> America, you want some real idols? Then look no further than the Ryan Fest Show. Woo! We got the cars, we got the cash, other than Earl, we got the ladies. We've got everything you should bow down and worship in your stinking ham and egger lives. Woo! Woo! We're the badass Ron Pennington. The Road Dog Fest Marie. And by God, I am the Nice Chubble. Woo! And you may not like it, but you will learn to what? Love it! Why? Bottom line! Because we are the best thing going today! Woo! 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 The nature boy! Woo! There he goes. Listen up! This is the Nature Boy, and you have just made the purchase of a lifetime. I don't care whether your family has to go without food, if your kids go to school without shoes, if your grandmother can't get that kidney she needs, 
If you spent your last dime on this tape, then you made the right choice. You're gonna get more chills than you got from the Tanya Harding honeymoon video, more thrills than the Rob Lowe sex video, and trust me, bottom line, you'll get more smiles than you got from the Rodney King feeding video. Get ready to walk that aisle, fix yourself a mixed drink, and escape from your steak and ham and egg or lies for the next hour or so. And if you don't like it, you better learn to love it. It's run and run, let the puppies breathe, and it is the best thing going today. Woo! Woo! Brian in Winnipeg, you're on a fez. Hey, Ron. Uh, you know, as a Canadian, we, we followed you guys militarily into Afghanistan, and we're still there losing soldiers because we thought that was right. But when you guys went to Iraq, we didn't go. And most Canadians thought that was the jumping-off place, like that, that you guys got suckered into it by your government, and we didn't have the passion that you did to, mm. to, to do that. And, you know, right, right after you guys went into Iraq, uh, like polls in Canada were like, no one wanted to, no one thought there was a point to going. And yeah, well, there we was plenty. Out. There was plenty of us here in in the states who thought it was a bad idea, and still think it's a a bad idea. So again, yeah, so. the same shit that everyone gets upset with is about. Well, we get upset with ourselves, but overall, I think the people are uh, good people. Uh, Mark in Colorado, you're a manifest. Well, you know, I was like you were saying before. I just don't know of any country in the world that's a hundred percent altruistic. I mean, that's just completely silly. And number two, what is what do we care what Canada thinks anyways? I like to call them America light. Oh, come on. Canada is, uh, is a terrific country, and they are our <coughs> brothers and sisters of the world. I mean, <coughs> if anybody... Oh, God, is it smoking here? <coughs> hey, it's the Nature Boy! Listen up! This is the Nature Boy! Woo! And now, our pathetic little neighbors to the north feel like they can't trust us. Well, I'm the nature boy, and I'm here to calm your fears and ease your tensions. First of all, Canada, this is how you know you can trust the United States of America. Because you're not already part of the United States of America. Woo! Woo! If you couldn't trust us, your name wouldn't be Canada anymore. It would be even further north, Dakota. Woo! Woo! If we had the slightest interest in you, your money wouldn't have the Queen's picture on it. It would have Washington's, Lincoln's, Jackson. Wait a minute. No one in your country would have a denomination higher than Lincoln. Woo! Woo! Canada, the last thing you want to do is end up on our to-do list. We already took hockey from you. Woo! Woo! We took William Shatner. Woo! Woo! And we took your most precious resource. Pam Anderson's big fake tits. Woo! How easy would it be to take the whole thing if we wanted? So keep running your mouth. You nothing happen in ice cube of a country. Woo! Woo! If it wasn't for us, Russia would have already set up branch offices in Calgary, Toronto, and Quebec. Woo! Woo! You think you can't trust us? Just being neighbors with you is bringing down the property values in North America. We're the ones who should be complaining. Woo! 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 In fact, now that I think about it, maybe you've got the right idea, Canada. Maybe you should watch your step around the USA. Woo! 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 Because you never know when there might be a day when we get bored. Maybe the Sunday after the Super Bowl when nothing's going on. 
and we decide to expand our borders and you wouldn't even realize it that we had taken over until you're singing the Star Spangled Banner on the 4th of July while holding a sparkler in your mitten. Woo! Woo! We're the United States of America. And Canada, what you ought to do is get down on your knees and say thank you because of all the places on God's great earth that you could have ended up, you're right here next to us in the shadow and the comforting shoulder of the United States of America. Woo! 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 You get to stand right there on the sideline and watch as we walk that out! Woo! 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 Being the top dog on this planet! Woo! You're third world at best, Canada. Enjoy the view of the promised land. And know that you are dealing with the absolute best. We're the badass Rod Bennington. Woo! 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 We're the road dog Fesbury Watley. Woo! 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 I am the nature boy. Woo! 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 And we are America. And you may not like it. But you will learn to what? Love, love, love it! it! Why? Bottom line. Because we are the best, best thing going today! today. Woo! Woo! The woos there were coming a lot quicker than they used to. The nature boy has totally changed his cadence. The cadence has switched up. He's leaving back into a smoke. Looks like he's getting in the back of a limo. Two beautiful blondes back there with him. All right, they're having champagne cocktails. He is living quite the life. Looks like there's a plasma TV in the back of that. He's waving goodbye to us. We'll see an H. There he goes. Said, seems to be saying something. I can't hear him here. They can just woo over and over. Woo. The nature boy. Yeah, a lot of that stuff. Nature boy forgets that our dollar fell so far. We can't... Uh, he worships it. Yeah, well, it'd be the fine. The almighty one. It'd be fine if it was still almighty. Mm-hmm. It's worth a lot less than the Canadian dollar that he was making fun of. But research was never big for Nature Boy. It's really just about jumping into stuff. Ryan in Canada. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling for him from the number four ranked country in the world. And just wanted to mention the last time we did go to war, we kicked your ass and burnt down the White House. Yeah, a lot of people forget that Canada uh, troops were involved in that. They just give it to the uh, British and the French. Punch out. Peace. I know, I felt like you, Hicks, until I went to uh, Canada and got the history lesson from their point of view. (laughs) We never have it down in our history books that Canada was involved in anything with us. Dicks. Uh, what is the latest on this uh, stupid lady in the chimpanzee story, Fez? Uh, now the woman who owned the chimp is uh, trying to let everyone know how much it meant the chimp meant to her. Who cares? She's really giving the personal story of how they shared a bed <laughs> well, at night. <laughs> here's what I love. She spends her time now. She's come out and saying, I never gave the monkey uh, Xanax. <laughs> Now, at what point (laughs) should a human being ever have to make the statement, (laughs) I gave the monkey surf and turf, I gave the monkey wine, my hand to God, I did not give that crazy monkey Xanax. Apparently, you should have gave her a lot more Xanax. So the backstory is this, Fezzi. Uh, A woman, she raises a monkey like he was a person. He gets all fucked up with her. He has a good time. His life is pretty nice. Um, and then he uh, 
He goes crazy one day and he tears off the neighbor's face. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly a friend of the owner's and she had to stab him to try to get him off of the woman. And Here's, she, here's another case where she should have been a gun owner. Just imagine if she would have had a handgun at home. The woman would have been fine. Yeah, if she would have gotten the monkey off her, uh, the other woman's back, that's for sure. A little joke you had there, monkey a little on bit. the back. Yeah. yeah. So we do that rather than converse. <laughs> we uh, force a uh, feed. So uh, at this time, no charges against her, right, for no, this monkey? Yeah, no charges so far. Well, look, I think it's about time to drop it. I mean, quite honestly, I feel bad for the woman. She uh, had a, <coughs> you know, a monkey. It didn't... Uh, <coughs> A little smoky in here. <laughs> Somebody's in that smoke. It's a nature boy! Listen up! This is a nature boy! Woo! And every now and then, in the big scheme of things, in the grand plan of the universe, in the evolutionary design, corrections have to be made, and a species has to be taken down a notch. Woo! And I'm talking about you, Travis the Chip. First of all, let me say, Travis, I'm the nature boy. Woo! And I liked your style. You were dining on filet mignon and lobster. You were sleeping in a big brass bed. You were drinking red wine and popping Xanax like you were Courtney Love. Woo! You were living a life only a few of us know about, and I'm talking about the good life. Woo! Hey, I was with you, brother, because, you know, I drive the biggest car to the biggest house in the biggest part of town. Woo! And that's each and every day of my life. But that's where you made your mistake, my hairy friend. That wasn't good enough for you. The booze and prescription drugs just weren't enough, huh, big man? You had to have more. The lobster wasn't enough, so you had to eat a woman's face. That's where we draw the line, Chippy. Woo! This is where we step in and say, you know what, Travis the Chip? You may party like a horseman. You may live like a horseman, but you are no horseman! Woo! Sure, once I slapped Mary Hart in a chicken wing cross face for changing her hairstyle, but I never ate a woman's eyeballs. I am too classy for that. Woo! That's why you had to be taken out, Travis. There's a food chain on this planet, and you are not at the top. Sure. Some of you apes had some big wins. Every now and then, you grab a pretty blonde and climb a building. But what happens after that? It ain't pretty, is it? Woo! And maybe an orangutan could get lucky and make a Clint Eastwood movie. Or a chip could go to live with Michael Jackson on Neverland Ranch. But then, nature makes a correction. Woo! Or should I say, the nature boy makes a correction. Woo! Sorry, Chip, but you are near the bottom of the chain, just above mines. Then, at the top, you've got humans. And just above that, you've got us. The badass Ron Bennington. Woo! The road dog Fesmeray. Woo! And me, the Nature Boy! Woo! And we're not giving up our spot! Not for you, not for anyone, man or monkey, no way! Woo! So, you may not like it, but you had better learn to what? Love it! What? Bottom line! Because we are the best! Nature Boy. It's a Rana Fez show.
Well, this has been a fine night for you. There's something in my drink. <laughs> what is it? It's a straw. It must have swivel stick in there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, that, that sounded exactly like his brother there. That sounded exactly like his brother. I'm from Florida. Oh, God. Here we go. i got to start hearing about the Sunshine State again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I know, buddy. I know. But you're proud of Florida, Fez? I am proud of Florida. The Silver Sand Beaches of the Gulf Coast of Mexico. Whoa. Whoa. Now, where are you from originally? Is it from Orlando or? From Tampa Bay, Florida, home of the Super Bowl 37 World Champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Arena Bowl Champion Tampa Bay Storm. Whoa. Well, that's nice. You may not like it, no, but you will have to love it, FLA style, <laughs> because it is the best thing going. Today. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Very Woo -hoo! nice, Fuzzy. Um, so where are you from? <laughs> what are you doing right. back in here, Wonder Boy? I hate Wonder Boy. <laughs> Do you hate ice cream cake? Him. Huh? I got you an ice cream cake. Again, it looks like my name got scraped off the MF. All right, now, how many people did we get here, and what size cake did you get? Uh, this is a small round from Carvel. It's You're a tic pack. Well, it says it serves like 18 people. Oh, You're so cheap. 10 to 50. I'm sorry, Where, 10 to 50. 18 Ethiopians? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Well, is it, is it Lilliputians? Well, it says 10 to 15 on the box. Yeah. I know a lot of people are on the Atkins, so they're always watching what they're eating. So I thought maybe little pieces would be good. That's supposed to be funny. No, I mean, it's an observation. From how? I don't know. Isn't it almost time to go to break? <laughs> No, Wonder Boy, we're sitting. There. I, I was we're trying to get the. on, baby. We're staying on. I'm trying to get the opportunity to talk to Fez about his hometown. Tampa Bay, <laughs> Florida. Woo! Woo! Diamonds are forever. <laughs> and so is Tampa Bay, where we <laughs> rule the pool and reach the beaches. Woo! 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 So you like it? You like that? I love it. I know you do, buddy. I just love it. You were, uh, were you moved there from up north, or how did you end up there? I was born there <laughs> on the south side of St. Petersburg. <laughs> Styling and profiling. No, it's a nice area, or? It's a nice area. Yeah, it really is. It's limousine riding, live jet flying, diamonds off forever. The best thing going. Get it! Woo! 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 You enjoying that pimp cup, Fez? What are you drinking? A pimp cup? Because what I got here is a 7 and 7. The breakfast of champions! <laughs> The best there is, the best there was, and the best there will be. Woo! Woo! So you've been enjoying those drinks. Styling and profiling. <laughs> I know. You're looking good. And it must be great to be from Jacksonville. Anyway. Jacksonville, I'm from Tampa <laughs> Bay, Florida, FLA, all the way. All the way. All the way. One of those Arrive Alive uh, license plates. She used to have one of those, huh? So. Arrive Alive, Salty Soul Flashman, Andy Hardy. The best there was, the best there will be. Bring it on. I, a very drunken fez just brought up newscasters from when he was growing up. <laughs> As proud as he could possibly be. <laughs> Screaming the name. <laughs> We're uh, talking Roy Smith. We're talking Roy Lee. We're talking John Wilson. You may not like it, but I'm going to throw the name Dick Crippen. <laughs> The best thing going today. 
right. Very, very proud of some of the uh, fine people there on the local newscast in Tampa. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and that's that's hometown pride. That's hometown pride, Fezzy. It ain't effing Fowlerville. <laughs> it's not Michigan, baby. It's Tampa Bay. F L A. So there's a lot of home pride there. There's a lot of times you feel good about it. A lot of pride. A lot of dignity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. A lot of silent and profiling. Proud of Tampa. It's a good place. Proud ain't the word. No, it's too small a word. Too small a word? Pride? No. It's a five-letter word, my friend. Sorry. I didn't mean to use such a small... Uh... Five letters! Five little letters! Because we got John Chucky Gruden. Who? Who? John Chucky Gruden. Oh, John Gruden, that's the coach. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to walk that out. The Super Bowl 39. 39, you're, you're coming back then after last year's disappointment. 39. What do you say to the Patriots, though? Now they've got the Super Bowl. Patriots? <laughs> Enjoy it? <laughs> you did the impossible. You pulled it off. <laughs> Super Bowl champions two times in three years. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy all the prestige and the perks that go along with it. Because it is short lasting. <laughs> Because here come who the back and half it is. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, because you're a bunch of also rams. That's true. You're out gore. <laughs> you're not happening. It ain't your year when we walk that out. <clears throat> One of the things in Boston. They're proud of as uh, some of their local newscasters. They think they have the best. You think they got the best? You think they can be Cheryl Roberts? You think they can be Gal Gallardo? And everyone else that's bringing you the news 24 7 365. <sighs> He's been drinking a little bit. WFLA. It's uh, it's Fezzy's birthday today, and we've all had a terrific time, Fezzy. I hope you. I had a good time. You had a good time. I had a great time. I'm smashed. Everybody loves the man from South Carolina. Let's hear it for him. And in South Carolina, <laughs> it's SLA, the Sunshine State. The Gold Coast, the Gold Coast, the Panhandle, it's Florida, baby. So you got some pride. You got some pride. A little bit of pride. Yeah. And a lot of secrets. <laughs> I know you do, buddy. Well, uh, everybody, thanks for coming in tonight. We really, really had a lot of fun. <laughs> Fuzzy, you Thank know, you so much for coming by. That was so nice. You enjoyed everybody. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I enjoyed them all. Yeah. Everybody, uh, Fezzi, I don't know. I know you're heading home for Christmas, or I mean Easter. Yes, I am. Heading back to Georgia. So, uh. Not Georgia! <laughs> but the state with the sunshine that never ends! FLA, Florida! All right, buddy. Woo! You know Woo! What? Yeah, thank you. Woo! 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 Scaring me now. It's like when the uh, babies had too much sugar. It's the same kind of a thing. You had a terrific night tonight, Fez. We enjoyed you. I had the best birthday ever. Oh, that's great. Wonder Boy didn't come up with much. Well, no, but he's got a great girlfriend. She dressed up like a cat for us, and uh, it was so nice. You, you like the present Wonder Boy gave you? But I got Lombardi tapes that I can't play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they stink. Yeah, you don't like the Lombardis. Well, there's just no way to play them. Well, we'll take them back, Fez. 
Take and I'm not thinking of Green Bay. <laughs> I'm thinking of Tampa Bay. That's right. You get a whole Woo! different bay. FLA. Whole different bay. Florida. Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next, it will be the fastest hour in radio. Don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hours are fast. <laughs> this one is sudden. It's that quick. It's that quick. You don't want to miss it because it is the best thing going. Today. Woo! Right back, Run a Fest show. I have some sick nature, boy, if we wanted to hear. <laughs> yeah, this is BL. BL, you got to hear this. This is Fez the last time he attempted nature, boy. Carolina, your teachers are going to be the Niners, the badass Ron Bennington, the, ro <coughs> the road dog Fez Marie Watley, and by God, the nature boy. Whoa. And Whoa. you may not like it, Whoa. but you will learn to love it. Why? Bottom line, we are the best thing going today. Woo! 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 That was a good Woo. one. That was great. Woo! <laughs> Our prices are so low, they're insane. <laughs> Sounded like there's a little something lodged, if you know what I mean. Yeah, there was something oh. lodged. His ass. No. <laughs> was that too much? It, too soon. Okay. No, don't go there. How about, like, he'll be the nature boy, but still doing all the regular, you know, as I'm talking to him. It's still instead, he'll be the nature boy instead of Fez, as we're trying to do the regular things. We're on the nature boy show. Yeah. Person whose shoulder I'm touching around, only that person. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. When I say the number three, you'll open your eyes. You'll realize you are the Nature Boy, and you are now part of the Ron and Nature Boy radio show. On the count of three, you understand what I've just said? Just nod your head. Great. One, two, and three. Eyes open. Whoa! <laughs> You are listening live <laughs> to the show that walks that aisle each and every night, 7 to 11. <laughs> the badass Ronnie B. Woo! Woo! And the Nature Boy. <laughs> Ladies, the love lines are open, 866-277-4969. Nature Boy, uh, did you happen to see Woo! the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're looking through the news today. What's big in the news right now? Iraq. <laughs> there is a nickel and dime ham and anchor by the name of Al Sadar who thinks he's going to walk that aisle over our house. <laughs> We're the U.S. of A. We're the U.S. Marine Corps. We're the Army, the Navy, the Marines. We do more before 6 a.m. than the world does all day. You will find out the hard way, my bearded, gap-toothed friend. Let's see what a big deal you are when you're sitting out there in that litter box you call a country and you're on the business end of a figure for a lot. You think you're occupied now? Now what you have to do my friend, is occupy yourself by knowing now you've gotten the nature boy's attention. Now you're on the radar. Now you're right there in our sights. And it's only a matter of time. Pick out a spider hole for yourself. Because we're the U.S. of A, and we are the best. 
thing going. Jelly! Woo! Woo! All right, Nature Boy. So that's pretty much it in the news. So that's what the Nature Boy is paying attention to. The Iraqi situation. Yeah. Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> I got a memo for you. <laughs> it's meet me at 11 on Main Street, baby. <laughs> Because we're going to party all night long. I'm the 60-minute man. You had three and a half hours in front of the 9-11 commission. Now you're going to be in front of the submission. <laughs> woo! 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 Hey, uh, Nature Boy, we have to do that Farina One spot now. Farina One, doesn't your cat eat that? Farina One? <laughs> It is the filet mignon. <laughs> it is the Dom Perignon. It is the Chateau Brion of cat food. Yeah. Parina one. What you want to do is walk down that aisle 12 at your supermarket, look for the blue foil bag, and you are styling and profiling. The cats are following you home for the Parina one. Nature Boy, what is the name of your cat? Nature Cat! <laughs> Love of the Perina one! Can't get enough about it! And I swear, I'll tell you this, my cat will kick any other cat's ass on the street! Perina one! 1-800-660-MEOW! Write it down. <laughs> Don't make me say it again. Marina One Challenge. Dot com. Woo! 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 Uh, maybe we ought to give him a little break from that time before he, you know, blows his. Uh, yeah, blows his gasket. I worry about him a little bit. <laughs> Got to keep his pipes going. Coming up the <laughs> fastest hour in radio. Still to come. <laughs> Call your friends. <laughs> Let them know they didn't miss it. It's your last warning. It's coming up right here on the Ron and Nature Boy Show. Whew. Yeah, I want to relax a little bit, too. I like to get some of that. <clears throat> now, honestly, whether you know or not, sometimes Fez la lacks confidence. Believe it or not, and yet somewhere inside him lives the Nature Boy. Just bizarre. You know, it always delights me when an individual with talent and desire and skill excels in the sports world or the entertainment industry or in the case of the people in this room, both. But then every time some beauty parlor bimbo comes along and expects her piece of the pie just for a night out on the town. I'm talking about Mike Tyson and what happened in a Chicago nightclub called The Click, where, trust me, we've broken more than our share of hearts and legs. What happened in that bar between Iron Mike and that Gary, Indiana trash is pure speculation. But what the cold, hard fact is that any time any member of this radio network has been in Las Vegas, Iron Mike and his promoter extraordinaire, Doc King, have treated us like the high rollers that we are. So, darling, know this. When you get approached by Iron Mike, you don't cause trouble. You don't call 911. What you do is you hike up that skirt, hop on a pool table and say, Hey, champ! Will this do? Same with Dallas Cowboy Michael Irvin. The man's found at a private party with two ounces of product. Well, listen, he's got three Super Bowl rings. The way we see it, he's entitled to another ounce. We're sports celebrities, and we are beyond reproach. You know, if it had been his dying wish, some blonde should have come out of the stands and mounted umpire John McSherry right there at home plate. The man should have been allowed to die with dignity. Women 
have always targeted us, the elite of sports. The list goes on and on. Diaz, Bennington, and do you honestly think I would let a miner who's been drinking drive a hundred thousand dollar car? Bottom line, ladies, we're not here to love you. We're here to thrill you. You want your Super Bowls? You want your pay-per-views? You want your smash hit morning radio programs? The things in life that keep your Joe six-pack husbands from smacking you? Then you're gonna have to pay the price. So you may not like it, but start learning to love it right now, right here, where they're on a rock show. We are bright lights. We are big cities. And we are, with God as my witness, the best 